He is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Who's going to walk away with bragging rights? Which fans are going to be happy? Which fans are going to be sad? I don't know, but it's the argument I love. Don't shoot the messenger for the message. We waited a long time, and now we've got this fight. We got out of the way of that right hook. Nice counter shot with the right hand. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Nice exchange here from both men. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You got to swarm on your case. You know you got to fight. You got to hold him. You got to tie him up. You got to lean on him when he come in until the referee makes you break off. But keep your hands high because I will keep punching till that referee said stop. Both men step back for just a moment. Beautiful counter punch. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He takes that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Neither man really defending themselves. Both men step back for just a moment. You'd like to see more jabs. Nice exchange here from both men. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. The game plan is... Come on. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch.
I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. I think they both think we're playing tiddly rings. This is the fight game. When you get in there, you get into fight. The fans are paying their money to watch you fight. We're sat here to talk about you fight. The corner men are there because they want to see you fight. We need a fight. Perfect punch. No rest for the weary. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. These two were made for each other. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. They exchange punches. And a round that seemed like an The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. He threw the hook, didn't land. Neither man really defending themselves. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Lands with the right counter. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? That left counter was perfectly timed. Oh, and they just got their bell rung. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. Both men step back for just a moment. He misses with that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about a one. Here we go to the fourth round. 
Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. What a punch. And he misses with that jab. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're gonna be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You'd like to see more jabs. I've been in some boring fights, trust me. I know what it feels like. You've got to get out of that rock because there's a lot of pressure, especially when you hear a boo in the crowd, especially when you hear the opposite corner, especially when you can hear a pin drop. It means they're thinking, mm, we're bored. Nice shot with the left. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. There's a count. They've got the momentum. Back into the fray here in round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. A perfect counter shot. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Great counter right hand there. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Then step back for just a moment. That punch lands. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. And he just misses with that jab. Neither man really 
really defending themselves. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Both of these men showing exception. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And time! He is down hey, big time. God, I'm telling you. There's the bell for round six. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Trying to answer back. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Good counter left hand there. He missed with that jab. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta outthink him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little fake in the pickpocket. Him. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. They score again with the left hand. Right punch. Left punch. He just misses with that big right hand. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. No surprise as we get a unanimous decision there. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, what a result.